here we go. I love music and the arts. We have a wonderful music program out of school. We even have middle school and high school teachers come to our school for band and orchestra. Unfortunately, we don't have an art teacher because in our district, art is too expensive. If you think it's sad that many Kansas schools don't have art and even music programs, give me a derp. Derp. <laughs> in my school, teachers work very hard to give each kid special attention. Some kids need extra help and some kids need extra challenges. Each year, I've noticed that new kids come to school, but we're running out of teachers in classrooms. Plus, everybody has to share our teacher's time a little more. I asked my dad, why can't we just have, hire another teacher? He says parents already pay hundreds of dollars of school fees at the start of the school year, and there isn't enough money to always add teachers when they are needed. If you think adding kids but not teachers is unfair, give me a derp. Derp. Worst of all for me is that I know how hard my teacher works. I've learned a lot this year about the things that have happened in our state. And I remember waiting up really late in April for my dad to come home. He was with a bunch of teachers in this building for an entire weekend while the people elected to help kids were fighting about ways to keep from giving schools the money we needed. I really thought that the governor, whom I have met and was a really nice guy, would not sign the bill that they were fighting about. I figured he's like the principal, and even when kids are arguing, the principal, like Mr. Dial at my school, can usually figure out really quick where the problem is and help us figure out a fair solution. I just knew the governor would do the right thing. After all, hundreds of teachers were telling them what it was really like in our schools. The teachers are standing up for me and my brother Simon and all of the Kansas schools kids. I couldn't believe it when he signed the bill anyway. What a disappointment. If you think it's sad that the governor didn't listen to teachers, parents, and even principals and sign the bill he should have known was wrong, give me a derp. Derp. Now you may wonder how an 11 year old could know all of this. The truth is, if I didn't have to listen to my mom and dad talk about it all the time, I probably wouldn't know anything about the governor or school funding or anything like that. What I do know, and what all those kids know in our hearts, is that our teachers stand up for us and we care about them. Next to my parents and family, my teachers are the most important people in my life. I don't understand why anyone would want to make it harder for them to help me. So I'm here today to tell teachers that us kids stand by you because you stand by us. And what makes me confused is why some adults can't understand just what we kids know and what we kids knew more than 60 years ago. Good teachers are, to key, are the key to education and a fair shot at a happy life. 